<laughs> and we have all these animals around. It's great. I love the audio. <laughs> hey, once again, Jason and Anna vlogging, drinking, answering questions. I just realized what the beeping is. What is the beeping? Um, do you think, of all the people we've heard talked about for vice president, is there a candidate out there for Barack Obama who the left, the liberal blogosphere, will accept and not shout down? They are the smartest kids in class, the bloggers. Like, also, let's put it out there, not that Barack Obama should be thinking to himself the only way, one priority. The only way Obama could please the net roots is to put Darcy Burner on the ticket. <laughs> but I think that the only person they will accept is, like, Wes Clark, who, who comes with problems. Yes. Articulation well, I think he problems. Can, he, can, he can kill people with his eyes. Also, the death eyes. Yeah. Uh, you or, keep on bringing up like the, you know like their actual resume problems. I'm more concerned. Sorry. Yes. On how they fit into your science fiction realm. That's right. Oh, we almost. It's as if you have some sort of article coming on yes, the topic about how science fiction and politics um, combine. The whole you know countrywide. Of course, and that's why he can't be vice president. And yeah. Biden can't be vice president because he says weird racial stuff. <laughs> and and Kane can't be vice president because he's too religious. And I think the only one that really I think there are a lot of good reasons to not put Evan Bay on the ticket. Among them, that he's the war. most boring man in Indiana. Dull. Suspiciously, radar, it's radar as it is. suspiciously at 7-Eleven in my neighborhood. Wow. Other Where do you that, live? I live in yeah. Arlington. <laughs> I live in Arlington, we're like... I didn't know radar was available in East Well, we have the elevated discourse at our 7-Elevens. Actually, but I, w I wanted to say something about the McCain um, vice president position. Go ahead, he's, on, he's in a similar position in that there's pretty much no one that he can choose that will satisfy everyone. That's true. Uh, there are the, the, the conservative base of the party would like it if he chose Romney, but... Romney Carl is, Rove would like it if yes, he chose Romney because right. of money and Michigan. And on paper, that looks like a good choice, but you know they hate each other's guts. Yeah. And uh, also, that's, Rom that's how you will know yeah. Rove has finally sunk his fangs into this candidacy. If McCain agrees to spend the next four years with a man he absolutely despises, and meant he hates you. I was talking to someone, um, let's say, close to the McCain campaign, let's and. Say. Uh, it was funny, I was, talking, I was talking about vetting and how vetting was going, and this person might have been kidding when he said this, but he was like, oh yeah, we tried to get mid out through vetting. The guy didn't have a parking ticket. Here's a standard bumper informing everyone <laughs> that if they want to ask us questions... They should be somehow related to politics. If you can relate to... We can't them. solve you, we cannot solve your, your, your romantic, you know... You know what, we should try. 